updated right to 100 where the id is 2 hello and welcome back to appian seco i hope you guys are doing good so today in this video we will learn how to create a stored procedure to update an existing row of a table in the database okay so without wasting further more time let's get right into the video so before we dive into this let's take a look at this definition okay so we have this delimiter command okay and mysql uses this as a delimiter to define the beginning and end of the stored procedure block okay this command basically allows us to change the statement terminator temporarily to another character and mysql uses semicolons as the default statement terminator okay so when defining a stored procedure it is necessary to differentiate between semicolons used within the procedure body and the semicolon that actually ends the entire procedure definition okay and here as well if you can see we are using this semicolon as a delimiter to separate sql statements and we can freely change the delimiter as we are using the delimiter command okay and this basically defines the beginning and end of the stored procedure block so begin and end is something where sql statements are placed and then we are using this delimiter command again to change the delimiter from this to this okay we are resetting it back to the default semicolon to end the entire procedure definition which will actually terminate the procedure definition okay all right so at least now we have a basic understanding to get started with stored blocks okay so now let's create one i'll get rid of this okay so first of all we have to use delimiter command you can use anything as a delimiter but it shouldn't be present in your procedure definition okay this is something which is frequently used if i want i can use asterisk as well as a delimiter okay create procedure the syntax right then comes your procedure name let's name it as appian seco okay and here we have to define the parameters which will allow you to pass values into the procedure when it is called okay so here I need a parameter ID and then you have to define the data type of this parameter which is gonna be int cool now comes begin and end where we are going to place our SQL statements okay here I am going to update an existing row of a table here we have this table called AS employee I am going to update the age where ID is I will be passing my ID while calling the stored procedure okay so we'll be writing an SQL query to update an existing row of this table AS employee table cool so update then comes table name table name is AS employee okay set what are we going to update we are going to update the age right set age equal to 100 okay where we are going to make use of this where clause to pass the id of the row which we want to update okay where id is equal to where this id this id okay where id is equal to this is something which i will be passing while calling my stored procedure okay where id is equal to this id because this is the parameter which will allow me to pass value to this when this procedure is called okay where id is equal to id semicolon to terminate the statement okay this delimiter we are using to define the beginning and here we will be using this again to define the end of this stored procedure block okay now we have to terminate it we are going to reset the delimiter back to the default delimiter which is semicolon right and how would we do that we can do that using delimiter command to change the delimiter semicolon to terminate the procedure definition okay now we are done i am gonna click on go to execute this stored procedure okay see it's a success now to execute this you just have to click on the procedures okay and here you can see 
we have our stored procedure you want to execute this you can click on this okay now it is asking for the id right which we have defined as a parameter if you pass the id as 2 it is going to update the age to 100 where the id is 2 okay go now here let me just refresh this it should update the age of the second row but it has updated the age of all the four rows something is going wrong okay so let's go back to our store proc and try to understand where we are going wrong here we have this query update table name set age is equal to 100 where id is equal to this id i think this is something where it is going wrong this id and this id okay this id is nothing but the column name and this is the parameter name which is exactly same and i think that's why it's not getting the right id okay let's change the name of our input parameter to some other name okay click on this procedures here you can see right you just have to click on edit and here we can update the input parameter name to employee id okay we'll just copy this and paste it over here just click on go to execute the statement this has been modified now it's time to execute you have to pass the employee id it's gonna update the age to 100 where the id is 2 but here we already have the age as 100 of all these four employees we would not know even if our stored procedure works because we are already updating the age to 100 through our stored procedure okay i'll first update these age We'll quickly write an SQL query for that. Update AS employee set age is equal to 30. Okay, it is going to update the age to 30 of all the employees as we are not using any kind of filter, right? Just click on go to execute this. Four rows affected. Now, if I just show you guys, you can see right it has been updated to 30 now i'm good to execute this it's gonna update the age to 100 where the id is 2 okay click on go now if i just go back to the table and refresh this you can see it has been updated right to 100 where the id is 2 so that's how it is working always make sure to not name your parameters same as the column names okay so that's pretty much for the day if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video cheers bye bye